Hello everybody, so I'm back. I haven't posted in quite a while and I actually have hit my one month surge anniversary and I think that was, actually let me check. Oh, well my phone's being used right now. I think it was like four or five days ago. Well, today's the 10th. So actually it was just three days ago. I hit my one month uh, surge anniversary. Which is super exciting, but as I mentioned in the last video, I have officially gone non-vegan and i pretty sure I've mentioned how I've been struggling with my weight and how I've been at the same weight for a few weeks. And now I've been at the same weight for almost three weeks. I've talked to my surgeon, I've talked to my doctor, they said there's nothing to worry about as long as I'm not vomiting up food, which I definitely am not. But um, the only thing as of right now is just the, like, me being discouraged about it, which is fine, and the worst it's been was a few days ago I, like, gained two pounds, and I started going to the gym and stuff, so the doctor said I could be gaining muscle, but I'm not sure. I'm hoping that it will slowly go down again, because I definitely am not eating, like, over the amount of calories I'm supposed to be eating. I'm eating... All the protein and low fat things so anyway just a little update but right now I wanted to do a grocery haul I just got back I so I actually bought two bags of tilapia frozen tilapia because I found when I the first thing I ate when I went non-vegan was catfish and I was really excited about it because it felt good going down, it tasted good, and I was getting a lot of protein. So I went out and bought tilapia, the cheaper version of a white fish. Um, but it's getting stuck in my chest and it's very uncomfortable. So I have a lot of it in my freezer, but I don't think I'm going to use it for a little bit right now. So I went out and got more foods that I could try. So without further ado, let me show you. The first thing is just some eggs, which I find, sorry, the sun's really bright. I found that I can eat eggs um, and not get too sick. The only time I feel kind of sick when I eat eggs is when I like fry them and just have like a sunny side up egg. That is when I, I don't know if it's, I don't know why, but I just don't feel good when I do it. So I got eggs. I like to make omelets with them with like onion and stuff. <clears throat> so just got a huge thing of that and then I this is the first time I picked up fresh produce from the grocery store which I'm also very excited about so I'm not gonna start with the fresh produce though I'm gonna start with my other things so I can explain how I want to use the produce so the first thing I knew I wanted to get there were two things actually I actually have had um, chicken breast deli meat and I find that it's really good for me and really fast and as a college student I can easily stick it in a Tupperware container and go and I just eat like the serving size of this usually I used to eat five ounces but this is two ounces um, nine grams of protein two grams of carbs and 0.5 grams of fat so this is really good I don't know this brand it's just Kroger brand but I'm hoping it's okay for me because the other one I had was very thinly sliced and this looks a lot thicker than that but I picked up some chicken I think it's easy and I think it's good so that is just a quick lunch I have it with a slice of cheese and that's basically it the next thing I knew I needed to go in to get was canned chicken I didn't have to get canned chicken I could have gotten frozen chicken and cooked it and made it how I wanted but this again is just a lot faster. So I got it in water, which I made sure to get. And with this, I want to make chicken salad. I've already made, I've already used canned chicken on this diet. And I made like a buffalo chicken dip that was like low fat and stuff. And that went really good. And I really liked the chicken in it. So that's what I plan to use this for, just a chicken salad. Um, and for the chicken salad, instead of using mayonnaise, I've heard suggestions basically for such a long time about how you can use like low fat yogurt. So I got this Chobani Saver uh, squeeze Squeezable Greek Yogurt Low Fat Plain. And this has really good stats in my opinion. It is 0.5 grams of fat, three grams of protein, and one gram of carbs per two tablespoons. So 
The only ingredient in this is also low fat milk cultured. So I really like this. I'm hoping I don't mind that it's not sour cream, but again, I have been vegan for over a year and I'm just going off of it. So I doubt I will notice a difference, which is good. So next I got, I didn't, like I said, I like really like seafood right now, but the tilapia is just getting stuck in my throat. I can also eat shrimp. Shrimp is really good and crab. I find I don't get sick with eating. So I wanted to try out salmon. I've had salmon a few times before, but I don't really remember if I was the biggest fan or not. So I got this Gordon's salmon. Um, it's like classic grilled and there's two fillets in here. And I got this because it was the cheapest one I could find because I didn't want to buy a huge thing of salmon or fresh thing of salmon and like screw up cooking it and all that stuff. This is like just pop it in the oven and go. So this has for, per filet, it has two grams of fat, three grams of carbs and 15 grams of protein, which I think is pretty good. Um, so I got that. I'm hoping I like it because when I go out to eat, because it's my birthday, my birthday is coming up and my parents are coming down to visit. And when I go out to eat this weekend, I plan to eat like grilled, um, grilled fish or grilled chicken. So I want to see if I actually like it first. So moving on to produce, not very fun. I'll show you the two things I got for the egg salad. I just got a red onion. I really like, or not egg salad. I'm sorry for the chicken salad. But I could also make egg salad. But I really like egg onion. I really like red onion in my chicken, tuna, and egg salad. So I got one of them. I got just a tomato. I hope to use this in like egg scrambles and stuff like that. I really like tomatoes. And then I just got a head of iceberg lettuce. I was um, like during this week I was actually eating some of the chicken breast I got previously with a slice of my homemade bread because I finally hit the point on the diet where I was allowed to have bread and I don't think I want to eat the bread as much. I only ha I only had like a total of three slices but I'm I'm gonna try to just make like lettuce wraps and romaine is not my favorite but I think it will be okay. So I got that for the chicken salad um, maybe to make like the, oh, there's a fly outside, maybe to make like some wraps with this and maybe even have a salad once in a while because I really want to start eating more fresh vegetables. I'm sick of not having them. And that is why I bought an apple, just one apple. Um, I'm not sure, I don't know. I've been wanting an apple so I figured I could get one and I got my favorite which is honey crisp. So I'll probably cut this into like forced or even like six or something, I don't know, but I'm super excited to eat this. And last, I of course splurged. Now that I am eating non-vegan, I figured I'll eat something that I wasn't allowed to have on the pre-op diet when I was vegan. And I had like some of that low fat, low sugar um, ice cream before, which is really good, but I kind of want to not eat that, <laughs> which makes sense. So I found these Jello chocolate vanilla swirl sugar free and I freaking love whole Jello. So I, I picked up one of these. It has a total of 1.5 grams of fat, 10 grams of carbs, four grams of sugar alcohols and one gram of protein. So it's definitely a treat because I am trying to stay away from carbs and keep it low fat as I was told to do, but um, yeah. I don't know. I think it's okay to have things like this. So that's all I got at the food store and I am excited. I hope this stuff works out better. Mainly the chicken salad because and the salmon because I know I like the eggs and stuff already. So anyway, I hope that helped you guys figure out what you could have during your um after your one month anniversary of getting your surgery. And I was also interested in creating a pantry slash fridge tour. And if you guys want to see that, just let me know. It's kind of hard because I live with somebody else. And I have a lot of stuff remaining here from when I was vegan and I wasn't on the surgery diet. But I don't know. I was just thinking about it. But anyway, 
I hope you all have a good day. It's nice and sunny here, so I hope it's nice and sunny there. But I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.